Hey, you want to hear a joke? Not really, but I guess, okay. <laughs> All right. Knock, knock. Who's there? To hear. To hear who? Sorry to hear, but why is not on the team no more? <laughs> wow, bro. Really? Really. My neck and my back. Oh, real mature, bro. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right, for real, Raider Nation, let's get started with this video. You tell them one thing. <laughs> Just win, baby. What is up Raider Nation, it's your boy Some More Raider back with another video and as you guys already know I'm pretty sure a lot of other YouTubers or a lot of other Raider fans have already, you know, told you guys what happened and let you guys know what was going on around the Raider Nation while your boy was doing other things but that's besides the point. Anywho, Tahir Whitehead was released by the Raiders, he was cut by the Raiders, a move that a lot of Raider Nation kind of already seen come in and it really saves the Raiders. 6.25 million dollars in cap space which is a lot of money for the Raiders to go out in free agency to probably sign a big time linebacker a big time free agent to come to this team and give this team a bit of an upgrade now the Raiders have 53.9 million dollars in cap space which is what 11th in the NFL that's a lot of money a lot of money now I gotta give it to Tahir Whitehead because he was one of the most reliable linebackers on this team starting all 32 games for the Raiders in the past two seasons since being signed to the Raiders. And for John Gruden, the best ability is availability and that's what Tahir Whitehead had. But as reliable as he was on the field, you can say he was not really reliable in coverage. <laughs> he was mostly known as a run stopper and a solid tackler. <laughs> at times. But you cannot deny that Whitehead was a consistent tackling machine on this team, having over 100 tackles every season he's been a Raider. And in 2019, he had 108 tackles, which a lot of Raider Nation would go out and say, wow. Oh my God, wow. Why would the Raiders let him go? You know, he's a sure tackler and he's been a reliable player. One of the biggest things is how much he was gonna make this year. And that's the reason why they cut him and saved the Raiders $6.25 million in cash space, which I alliterated to earlier. But in today's league, linebackers have to cover tight ends, receivers, and you have to have that speed to do that. Now to hear Whitehead's biggest weakness was his coverage ability at the linebacker position. <laughs> I mean, you could call him at and because of how weak his coverage skills were. What the hell? I don't even know why I said that. But as much as you look at the 108 tackles that he did have and how much you think that's a solid number for Tahir Whitehead, most of those tackles came off of him trailing the opposing players, meaning like he was running after the players after they gained big yardage and he went and got a tackle. He was just there. And that's a stat that can really be misconstrued in, you know, the NFL. Just the stat out there just saying he had 100 tackles. There's more that goes into that. And the fact that most of his tackles were not behind the line of the scrimmage or, you know, right there before the first down, most of it was because he was chasing a player downfield that probably got 50 yards downfield and he just made a tackle and they you know just add that on to that but i don't really count that as big time tackles like i said earlier you know he was a really good run stopper at times but mostly he was a liability out there at the linebacking position but i mean he's not the only one there you know everybody else in this linebacking core really didn't do much and i can't put the blame on to here whitehead but like i said this was a business move for the raiders going into the 2020 season whether they're going to go out in free agency and bring in some linebackers Backers. There's a lot of linebackers out there that Raider Nation want to go out and get and spend the money on. And I believe with that move and another move that the Raiders might actually do, which was kind of reported early on today about Gabe Jackson, probably being shipped out of the Raider Nation would save even more money for the Raiders to go out in free agency and get a top tier linebacker, which I believe they should do that and even go out into the NFL draft and still draft the linebacker. But in this year's free agency class for linebackers is really deep. There's a lot of players out there that the Raiders can actually go out and probably sign and give some big money to. There's a lot of names thrown out there around the Raider Nation. You know, obviously Corey Littleton, Joe Schobert, uh, Blake Martinez is the big names out there that a lot of Raider Nation want to go out and get you know Kyle Van Noy and even Patrick Anwase or Anwase 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 on what's number 48 from the Ravens. That's another linebacker that the Raiders could probably go look at. But other than the big names that a lot of people keep talking about and keep harping on, I want to give you guys some low risk, high reward 
linebackers that the Raiders can go out and sign. Now, these guys not, might not be elite or, you know, superstars at the linebacker position, but I believe they'll be a solid depth chart piece for the Raiders at linebacker because we literally need linebackers on this team. I believe Mark Lee is the only guy left on the Raiders as a linebacker that's actually signed, other than maybe bringing back Vontez Perfect or Will Compton, which we don't know what the deal is going to be with that. But here are some low-risk, high-reward players that I believe the Raiders should go out and get at the linebacker position. Nigel Bradham would be a great addition to the Raiders as a depth chart piece. 30 years old from the Eagles, a guy that didn't have really a great season last year, but he's still a solid player in coverage. Probably not really good in run support. He missed a couple of tackles as well. And I know you guys are probably looking at his age and be like, God damn, that boy 30, about to be 31 in 2020. Nah, bro, chill. Like I said, this guy won't cost that much and he'll be a great depth chart piece for this Raiders team, a team that really needs a lot of linebackers and he's got a lot of experience and he could probably bounce back this year. Who knows? Then you got Nick Vigil from the Bengals struggles a little bit in run support but he's still young only 27 years old still under 30 and i know a lot of raider nation gonna be like yo some more raider isn't this the guy that got his ankles shook by lamar jackson well yes yes he did but don't worry it won't cost that much to bring him on and i believe He's another player that we could bring in. He's a solid young linebacker that could probably grow and turn into something that could be good for the Raiders. Who knows? I mean, I'm not going to act like he's going to be the next Luke Keekly, but forget about that highlight. That, I mean, one play does not define one guy. Okay, sometimes it does, but who cares? Christian Kirksey from the Browns, 28 years old, recently got released by the Cleveland Browns. Kirksey was a bright rising star several years ago, and the Browns did what the Browns do all the time and overpay for a player, giving him a five-year, $38.7 million contract contract but he's been a huge bust since being a brown i mean who isn't a bust when they go to the browns it is pretty sad that he was a major disappointment for the browns due to injuries he only played nine games in the past two seasons but perhaps christian kirksey can have a rebound year next year maybe a one year prove it deal for any team and if the raiders could go out and get him for you know minimum to come out and prove himself like i said this is a low risk high reward type of player you add more debt you bring on a guy that's got a lot of experience and wants to go out there and prove it himself so why not go out and get him and last but not least on my list that i got for now now, you know, is Danny Trevathan. Now, everybody knows Danny Trevathan from the Broncos Super Bowl team and his career at the Chicago Bears, you know, started off pretty well and was downhill from there. Last year, he was injured, didn't really play that much. But I believe this is another player that the Raiders could go out and get that can prove himself, be a solid linebacker, add some depth to this linebacker position, be a veteran to the young linebackers that we do have on the team and that we could bring in in the draft. Low risk, high reward. Why not go out and get him? So these are a couple of the mid-tier slash underrated low risk, high reward type of linebackers that I feel like the Raiders can go out and get that can probably come in and replace to hear Whitehead. And if you were to look at the NFL draft, there's a lot of linebackers that the Raiders could go out and get. You obviously got Kenneth Murray, Patrick Queen, you know, Isaiah Simmons, which I doubt the Raiders could even go out and get unless they go and trade up. I mean, he's a freak athlete, but realistically, I don't think the Raiders are going to get him. And there's a couple linebackers later on in the draft that the Raiders can go out and get like Malik Harrison. You got Jordan Brooks. You got Evan Weaver, Willie Gay Jr. And so much more. So, I mean, the Raiders have a lot of options after replacing Terry Whitehead, saving a lot of cap space for the Raiders to go out in free agency and hit big. But like I said, the Raiders have a lot of options, whether they want to cut more players and save more money going into free agency or go into the NFL draft and stock up on some linebackers. With that being said, Raider Nation, that is all I have for you guys today what do you guys think about this news what do you guys think about to hear whitehead getting cut who else do you guys think the raiders are going to cut to save cap room for this team what linebackers are out there that you guys want to go and get other than the big time names what are some mid-tier underrated low risk high reward type of linebackers that you guys want to go out and get in free agency let me know down in the comments below with that being said if you guys enjoyed this video then please smash that like button and if this is the first time you're coming across this channel and you enjoy this type of content then hit that subscribe button and hit that notification icon button just to notify you guys when i upload more videos just like this one i appreciate every new subscriber out there and trust me every subscription every like goes a long way for this channel and for me to help me grow and do this even more and more and more with that being said raider nation this is your boy some more raider until the next video your boy some more raider is yeah this shit way too crucial i've been out the way i've been too anti-social Please don't take this personal. I got people on my line trying to get a verse to. Got a new bitch and a brand new check. Goddamn, I turn nocturnal.